four. We got a bus that breathes fire. The idea for the bus began when we understood that for the project to move forward um, more quickly than it was, we needed to demonstrate what a rabbit hole exhibit was. That's, that's, the that's the stairwell, yeah. Okay. We chose the book Last Stop on Market Street by Matt De La Pena and Christian Robinson. That particular book was exceptional on many levels. Not only did it win the Newbery and a Caldecott Honor and a Curtis Scott King, but it was a beautiful, poetic, socially conscious book that we felt represented a lot of what we were trying to design into our exhibits. So rabbit hole is such a big idea and people don't understand it right away. They don't get that it's not just about creating sculptures or creating static things that you walk around and it's about putting you in an environment through you know visual uh, elements, sound elements, um, kinetic elements that help put you in a place and remove you from you know the outside world and into that story. In the story when CJ and his grandma are on the bus and the bus starts up there's this really kind of low rumbling shaking that is uh, magic. I've never seen anybody not just like switch gears and just be so present and they're like I'm on the bus. We had imagined it as a traveling exhibit, so we built this extremely bold frame for it out of steel tubing, and so you can put it up on jack. So the whole bus is built on that on that chassis, and then we went into the bus. We built the sculptures. We've got two 72-inch screens, and we embedded them in one side of the bus, and we had four windows over that, and we programmed the story. Uh, in an animation that's in the style of Christian Robinson. What we want when it goes someplace is we want kids and just anybody to connect to the book. We want them to have a great experience. So if they're a person who's like, I don't like to read, they're going to ride the bus and they're going to be like, what? That's from a book? I want to read that book. I'm glad we came. In an uh, ideal world, Matt and Christian would have come here and ridden the bus with us, but since that's not going to happen in any foreseeable future, uh, we wanted to give them the, that ride. Hey, Christian. To watch them kind of go in with the camera, kind of on the, on the shoulder of the camera, and, and see, at least get a feeling for, you know, what that experience is like. Uh, was super gratifying. Your words are coming to life, Matt. I know, it's incredible. You feel like a little kid because you're like, oh, I really want them to like it so bad. You know, I hope they like it, I hope they like it. Um, and uh, they really liked it. I feel like this is author, illustrator's dream come true. People yeah. that take what we try to do and we spend so much time on, take it seriously. I just love that. It, that's what makes you feel so excited just watching all this and listening to you too. I was a total reluctant reader growing up, so knowing that this thing exists and is coming into being, it just gives, I know for myself, so much hope and so much to look forward to in the future, and I know it's going to mean so much to so many young people and families. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you for the beautiful work that you're doing. Last stop on Market Street.